Hello, Stephen Kelly here from the RTE Concert Orchestra. Uh, a while back I made a little video on uh, jazz musicians who quote the Irish washerwoman tune in their solos. And uh, not long after I made that, uh, my wife was listening to some Clifford Brown, the great jazz trumpeter. And uh, sure enough, in the middle of his solo, he quotes just a short little uh, section of the Irish washerwoman. Have a listen. <laughs> Clifford Brown there with a little hint of the Irish washerwoman. Uh, another musician who also kind of just hinted at the tune, I suppose, a little bit in his solo was Oscar Pettiford, the great bassist. And here he is on a recording um, that Thelonious Monk made of Honeysuckle Rose. <laughs> Oscar Pettiford there. Uh, next up, Horace Silver on um, a tune called Ladybird that he recorded with Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. Uh, Horace commits fully here. <laughs> Silver there with Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. Now we return to the first band we heard, uh, Clifford Brown, Max Roach Quintet, and this time pianist Richie Powell gives us an even lengthier quote of the Irish washerwoman. <laughs> Powell there. Tragically that was the last recording that that band made because just a few days later um, Richie Powell, his wife Nancy and the trumpeter Clifford Brown were all killed in a car accident. It was a real tragic uh, occurrence. Um, but we will not end on such a sombre note and we will return to Dizzy Gillespie who we featured in the first video but this time in a TV recording that he made for French television. Uh, three things to look out for in this. First Keep your eye on his microphone stand. Uh, second, um, Dizzy's incredible response to what happens. First with his incredible technical flurry of notes and then a quote from that song we now know and love. Uh, and thirdly, just keep an eye as well on uh, Kenny Clark, the drummer in the background, who seems to be greatly amused by the goings on. Uh, so happy St. Patrick's Day and uh, hope to see you all soon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.